We've all been in a situation at some point in our musical journey where someone sends you a session that's a complete mess. We're talking about a song that wasn't recorded to a click, no track names, no organization, and you're expected to mix or add to the production. Now, normally you'd have to spend quite a bit of time organizing the tracks, relabeling, and color coding one at a time. Then, creating a tempo map manually before adding any new parts or adding time-based effects. But with Luna's built-in instrument and tempo detection, we could go from a tracking disaster to a clean, mix-ready session. So let's dive in and fix this session, letting Luna do all of the heavy lifting. Before we import our tracks into our session, I just want to double check that my instrument detection settings are set up to follow my typical color coordination scheme. To manage the default schemes, go to the bottom right hand corner and click on the gear icon. From here, I'm going to swap out a few of the default colors to my preferred scheme. And this is saved for any future projects. To import the tracks, I'm going to simply drag my files to the timeline. Once I do, you can see that Luna immediately reacts and begins to analyze each file. As it finishes its analysis, it's now prompting me to apply the instrument detection analysis. Since none of the tracks had useful names to start out with, I'm going to accept both the color coding and the track naming. Instrument detection is now available as a public preview. Head over to the new feature preview panel to enable it today and help us enhance its accuracy by sharing your feedback. So in just a few clicks, my session is much cleaner. And now that the assistant has identified, categorized, and color-coded each track, we're ready to get started on fixing an even more important part to our mixing process, the tempo map. When it comes to mixing down live performances, it's very common to supplement parts of the recordings with additional samples, new additional recordings altogether, or mixing with time-based effects like delays. But this means that we really need to have our grid conform to the track rather than conforming the track to the grid. This is called a tempo map, and normally I would have to manually create this. However, we can now have the Luna Assistant extract the tempo and create the map for us very quickly. So we can go from this. If that sounds like you, this is your song. to this. If that sounds like you, this is your song. To extract a session's tempo, first determine if you want to extract just a portion of the track or the whole thing. If it's just a portion of the track, make your selection in the timeline. In this case, we want the whole session to be mapped. Next, go to the top left corner in the timeline, and in the tempo header, you'll see an option to extract your session's tempo. Now, if you made a selection in your timeline, this is where you'd tell Luna to only map the selection. But again, in this case, we're gonna click Entire Session. Once extraction is complete, you'll notice that the tempo ruler has expanded and the time signature ruler has identified a downbeat. In our tempo ruler, we can audition the different tempo candidates and choose the best one. Our downbeat marker is used by Luna to identify where the first beat is in the bar. So we really want to make sure that it's located in the right spot. If that sounds like you, this is your song. If it's not, we can relocate it by clicking and dragging. If that sounds like you, this is your song. Now that our session is mapped, I can add and record MIDI, quantize it, and it will land in time with this live performance. If that sounds like you, this is your song. And I can add time-based effects like delay and lock the repeats to the tempo. If that sounds like you, this is your song. Oh, you 
And now we're ready for mixing. So the next time someone hands you a session that's a mess, don't even sweat it, drop the tracks into a new session and let Luna do the heavy lifting and get to work on what really matters, making it sound great. Let us know in the comments how you're using these tools in your own sessions and be sure to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel for all things UA. See you in the next video. Cheers.